guys welcome back to a brand new one punch man video now in today's video guys i am going to be dropping you an a thousand diamond free code um let's just say well it's not my van times treat but it's one punch man's van times treat for yesterday guys so call it mine if you haven't seen this code it's yeah it's gonna be good so i need to get straight in what's the most important thing to do in one punch man on a monday guys that is the question. The most important thing that you can do on a Monday is hire all of Uncle K's characters, guys. That's the most important thing you can do once a week. I, I always like to take his um, G4 as well because I know I could potentially, it's going to potentially help me get through two story mode missions. And then I also like to take his Snoop. The only reason I like to take his Snoop is just so um, Neil Bradley can't have it. I can't let him get further than me. So I'm just going to put that in there. Like that. Boom. And he's got plus three as well, which is pretty good. Lovely. Okay. Oh. Right, that was instant. He knew. I, I feel like Uncle K is watching me. He's always watching me to make sure I do well in One Punch Man. Oh, look. Loads of people want my characters. Take all of them. There you go. Easy. Take them all. So, <laughs> Uncle K has come through and given me his character straight away. So, obviously, guys, with this Halloween, uh, Halloween, with this Valentine event going on, this is how much I care about Valentine's Day, guys, as you know. With this Valentine's event going on, um, we've got huge amounts of things going on. And I did decide to treat myself this month. So, I did, um, I did grab a couple of things because obviously I knew I'd get loads of stuff in the accumulation awards so obviously just spending money so i thought if, if i am going to treat myself i might as well do it when there's an event going on to give you more stuff for doing what you do anyway so i haven't quite decided what i'm going to do in the exchange event yet i don't think i am going to buy king because okay yes king's great but i don't need to level up king because i use uncle k's king every week so it would be a waste i'm tempted to grab another um attempt to get another g4 um, or maybe another terrible tornado just to help me finish her off and the leveling up. But the point is actually you cannot obtain G4 in the shop. And that's one of the most important things you need to take note of. Is that G4 will not be in any of these tournament stores or anything. So I'm looking at probably just grabbing another G4. But I'm going to wait until the last day and I'll do a video as I always do with you guys. And see what I'm going to buy or why I'm going to buy it. I'm very tempted to buy loads of those. I am very tempted to do that just so I can get Melzard maxed out. But, um, it's, you know, it's something that I need to think about and really, really try and decide on what's going to be the best option. We've got another five summons in there. That's going to be fantastic. And then we obviously unlock Triple Staff Lily for free. So, I brought something, actually, because somebody asked me a question. Linux um, asked me a question last week. I think it was on Thursday. And he asked me um, how the um, stage fund works. So, I brought this... Um, to find out so I could tell you. So you spend the 20 quid once and you just get everything, you know, depending on what stage that you've cleared. It's that simple. I wanted to check what I said was true. So if you guys are watching this and had any questions about this pack, you buy it once and every stage you clear, you just click claim, 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 claim as you go like that. Then you're there. Obviously, I haven't done 1960 yet. And yes, I do have 82,000 diamonds, but I'm hoarding them. So do not judge me. <laughs> okay, so... What I wanted to do today was give you guys the code and then go and smash the boss. And luckily, Uncle K came through immediately. Absolute hero. So today's redeem code, which is going to give us even more diamonds, guys, is S, capital P, capital R, S, 6, W, X, 6. That is pretty crazy. You know, Harold is here, also known as Jason, Jason Jonas Long, <laughs> Jonas Longenek, and we are very, very excited to see this. So bang. 1,000 diamonds, guys. There you go. That's my special Valentine's treat for all of you beautiful people out there. So, yeah, that's good. So, let's see if we can get 100 likes on this video, guys. So, the other thing I want to focus on today was obviously jumping in and doing the boss battle. So, I just... These are one of my favourite parts now of this game, are doing these boss battles. And now, I can... So, this is... A lot of people have been telling me, Josh, hurry up and break your battle wheel. But if I break my battle wheel, it will move me into the next tier of boss battles and I won't be able to keep coming in the top. 
So I need to wait until I've got a little bit of a backlog of better things before I break. So I am going to wait a little bit because number one, if I do that and then I can't get into the top battles in the guild boss, I'm really going to be affecting giving my guild, everybody in my guild, free diamonds, which is what I do not want to do. So with this battle, this is the best team to go for. Now this I do have to say, out of all of the boss battles in this game, this one is the most RNG related one because it's all down to how much stuns you inflict. So let's see what we do here. It's all luck based, unfortunately. So we managed to take a stuff. So if we get a stun in straight away, we didn't. So I'm going to use a special. Hopefully get a stun in straight away. Yes, we stunned him. Okay, awesome. So now I, now the best thing to do is kind of to wait for um, Emperor's Child because you, I, I do believe there's a higher chance to get crits. When he's stunned. So he comes unstunned. Oh, he got stunned there. But okay. That doesn't really matter too much. Lovely. And then use his special. Lovely. Then use his special. Then use his special. Here we go. Huge damage. Slice. Yes. 16 million damage there. Okay. Awesome. So I would like a few more follow-ups from Terrible Tornado and um, Supersonic. Which isn't happening, unfortunately. We stunned him again. Lovely. I'm just going to use his special straight away. Let's just get him attacking. Let's just keep the bits going here. I'm going to use her special straight away as well. Stunned him again. He's got minus two defense there. Lovely. So I'm going to use his special because there's no point of waiting. Let's just get it out whilst we can. Okay, lovely. Now I've nearly got Empress Child's special up again. Oh, we've stunned him again. Okay, this is mad. This is mad. Okay, we're going to go around. We're going to get Empress Child's special again here. And we're going to do a big hit. Use... Use. Oh my goodness, he mashed. Oh, we got stunning again. That was so lucky. Blow up as well. Oh my goodness, I'm going to do bad damage. I'm going to do bad damage. Come on. Huge hits. Come on. Okay, this is brilliant. All right, that's a mad. That is an absolute mad one. Mad. Okay, 57 million Damage. That's got to put me number one. That's got to put me number one. Ooh, 60 million this guy got. Oh. Okay, this is very interesting. I think he just got very lucky. Should we have a look at this? Because this is mad. I've never seen anyone use the Perry Perry um, Nando's guy before. Let's have a look. So he's got a stun in there. Lasting damage. So I'm quite curious to see how he's going to use the green guy, the part of the zombies guy. Look at all, actually, to be fair, he's got a lot of debuffs on him. Look at all those debuffs on him. And we've got the good follow up for Supersonic there. Then he's not used Supersonic special yet. Okay. Minus damage dealt. Melts him down. And then everyone gets attack buffs on him. Then he cuts with Supersonic. She does a huge bit of damage there. Okay, then he gets the good old silly old lady to do her moves. Here we go. Oh, that was a good crit. So really here, it comes down to all of those crits that Supersonic keeps doing. And and that huge amount of damage that keeps implying in because of um, the, um, the, the plant, the poison guy. I never thought about using him on bosses. Now I am leveling him up a little bit, so I am quite intrigued to see where I'm going to get to with him. He just does some fantastic hits. So look at... Yeah, that, all that lasting damage just stacks. And his Carnage is doing very, very good damage. Now, obviously, I have leveled my Carnage up to a very good position. Which is obviously quite important. So I am quite curious to see where... How does he get him up to 60 million? Something's got to happen here. Oh, he's got Pepe Special and he just got an attack buff. Melt, melt. And I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. He's going to get um, Supersonic Special in there as well now. Huge. Huge. That's huge. Yeah, fair play. Absolutely fair play. Slaughtered him. Slaughtered him. I got to see this is why, because now, look at, look at everybody in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11. Guys, 11 of us. 11 of us have made it from the guild have made it into here that's unreal trophy allen spaghetti wrath amake fuin star jaeger pizza jim trophy jose kai gaming pro trophy josh and dark crimson 
absolute legends. I wonder if anyone's got, uh, ooh, troll level 256. You guys are all the best. Smash that like and subscribe button. Enjoy the 1,000 diamonds, and I will see you beautiful people in the next one.